good evening students welcome to today class today we will discuss blueprint today we will cover all these topic what is blueprint who will use the blueprint meaning of blueprint in education what is blueprint in educational assessment need for the blueprint blueprint for test use of blueprint features of blueprint purpose of blueprint and guideline of blueprint preparation of blueprint benefits of blueprint today we will cover all these topic what is a blueprint the term blueprint is derived from the domain of architecture which means detailed plan of action a blueprint is generally something intended as a guide when making something else it is a detailed plan of action or outline in a technical form who will use the blueprint uh it is first used at construction and industry later it was used in a car uh, uh, modeling animation uh, story uh, boarding etc basically it is a used to uh, use at those area where we want to detail plan of action before executing finally in education by teacher researcher and administrator blueprint uh, we can say blueprint is a uh, uh, framework of uh, question paper in in these framework we fit our question according to uh, objectives meaning of blueprint in education it provide student an interactive approach for education planning to meet the curriculum expectation and learning objectives what is blueprint in educational assessment blueprint is a map and a specification for an assessment program that ensure that all aspect of the curriculum and educational domains are covered by assessment program over a specified period of time it is uh, a three dimensional uh, 
chart which show the placement of each question in respect of the objective and the content area that it tests in simple term blueprint link assessment uh, to learning objective it also indicate the marks carried by each question it is useful to prepare blueprint so that the test maker know which question will test which objective and uh, which contained unit and how many marks it would carry the blueprint concentrates the design in operational term and all the dimension of question is that is objective it is form the content area it will it would cover all the marks allotted to it become uh, clear to the test maker it may be a simple content matrix but it can also include further specification for example test and assessment method a comprehensive blueprint therefore serve as a reference framework for the question paper set to prepare the question uh, paper according to the accepted norm and guideline in an integrated curriculum blueprint particularly powerful tool now we will discuss need of blueprint it make the assessment clear explicit uh the transparent to everyone involved in the process of learning it help to match uh, various competency with the courses con contained and the appropriate modality of assessment effective assessment is possible only when the uh, the three element uh, course content uh, competencies to be tested and method of assessment attain the best fit make assessment fair to the student 
as they can have clear idea of uh, what is being examined and can uh, direct their learning efforts in that direction it help the teacher in designing the instruction as per the guideline accepted in the curriculum ensure that the selective test item give appropriate emphasizes to thinking skill as faculty writing test question without a blueprint often find the question asking for simple uh, conceptual knowledge are easier to write than those asking a student to inter uh, interpret uh, infer analyzes or thinking other way uh, subsequently examiner may have intent to test higher order thinking but the question over emphasizes the ability to recall uh, correct fact or recognize correct answer blueprint deal with the simple content competency and uh, tool for the assessment in rational and balanced manner the aim of blueprinting is to reduce the two major threats to three validity these are the needs of blueprint why we need blueprint in education system now we will discuss blueprint for test a blueprint for a test or examination is also known as the test specification provide examination strategy of an institution at a glance uh it is uh, it is in the form of uh, mat uh, matrices is that tabular form it specifies all the element of uh, performance relevant to the assessment so that appropriate samples of activity and corresponding method can be selected according to their relative importance to the overall assessment uh, process according to new bell and dawson in 1994 
when the test item of a test are judged to adequately represent well defined domains of content generalizable samples according to cron back in 1971 use of blueprint the assessment for the test specification is that in the examination evaluating uh, time management and strategy to achieve the described outcomes educational administration administrator for curriculum development curriculum developers to design comprehensive uh, sequenced care development learning opportunities research and re volunteers to design learning plans parents or guardians uh, for helping uh, young people to develop uh their career from early age now we will discuss features of blueprint it is a matrix or chart reporting the number and types of the test questions generally we are using uh, matrix uh, when we preparing the uh, blueprint the question present the topic in the content area the questions are based on learning objective from each topic it is also identify the percentage weightage of the cognitive dimensions now we will discuss purpose of blueprint what is the main purpose of blueprint provide conceptual map of examination format and the content area types of measurement tool for assessing the items uh weighting the prospective column of learning objectives blueprint is the uh seen as the readily valuable 
document which contain the list of topics covered under each module with its identified learning objectives contain validity of assessment it guide uh, items collection and development it provide a clear framework for the researcher to design items which assess which assess the important concept or thinking scale listed in the test blueprint it also provide source for the formative use of the summative assessment to satisfy the bloom's taxonomy of educational objective these are the purpose of blueprint guideline for blueprint first one is content analysis second is determine uh, determination of learning objectives next is determination of number of item for each topic based on learning objective last is determining the types of questions first we will discuss in detail content analysis content analysis it is a means to divide the whole content of the syllabus or course into a systematic tabular form for example as you are watching in my ppt a we will divide in sub unit lesson 1 divided in sub unit topic 1.1 these are the sub topic sub unit topic 1.2 topic 1.3 topic 1.4 and and so lesson number 2 topic 2.1 topic 2.2 topic 2.3 topic 2.4 and and so so this is the content analysis first we uh, select the lesson then we select the sub unit of particular uh, lesson determination of learning objective as you know learning objective is based on bloom's text taxonomy generally we have taking three types of uh, learning of ob, uh, objective knowledge level understanding level and application level and for example uh sub topic 
one point one knowledge level two questions understanding level one application level one topic one point two knowledge level two understanding level two and application level one topic one point three knowledge level two understanding level one and application level zero determination of the item for each topic topics for example uh lesson 1 sub topic and knowledge of 2 understanding level 1 and application level 1 total number of items five knowledge level number 2 understanding number 2 and uh, application level number five so total item uh, five knowledge level number 2 and uh, uh underst uh, understanding level 1 and uh, application level 0 so to total uh, three item and uh, in knowledge level 2 plus 2 plus six item understanding level uh, 2 uh, plus 2 plus 1 Five item, one plus one, two item, and five plus five plus three, thirteen item. So these are the determination of the number of uh, items for each topic. This is my example table. On we can say uh, this is my example matrix of. Uh, of blueprint hence total 13 item were constructed for the lesson 1 from which each level of objective have their own weightage uh in this way number of item for other lesson could be constructed uh that is show in the table for example unit lesson 1 2 and 3 and uh, second sub topic the knowledge number of questions uh, uh items weightage per understanding weightage per application weightage and here we are totaling uh as you are watching in my uh, um, ppt knowledge plus understanding plus application total item 5 the next uh, row in the matrix 2 plus 2 plus 1 5 item so these are the topic and these are the uh uh objective of according to bloom's taxonomy then we are uh, counting the total number of uh, item of knowledge this is there are 17 2 2 2 3 2 1 1 2 and 2 17 and understanding we are doing same uh, process these are the 13 item then application level there are 7 item then we are uh, counting 17 plus 13 plus 7 it means total number of 17 the total number of item 17 or here total number of item 37 so these are the 
this is my um, example uh, of item for the lesson could be constructed now we will discuss the uh, determine uh, types of question according to our uh, uh, previous uh, example items we have two types of item uh, subjective items and objective items in subjective items uh, as a type Uh, short answer type or very short answer, uh, very short answer types questions. In objective, we can include um, recall and recognition. Recognition. Recall further divide in uh, simple recall and fill up. Recognition. Uh, uh, further divide in recognition test and classify multiple choice test analog and true and false so these are the determine the the type of item in each model and also provide weightage to the each types of items preparation for blueprint define the scope and purpose of assessment the first step is to define the purpose and scope of assessment the purpose of assessment direct the domain of learning to be include and the method to be adopted what is the level of student understanding uh, uh and uh, what is the level of student undergraduate or post graduate whether is the formative or summative assessment what domain is being assessed knowledge skill and attitude decide the weight is to be given to content area domain of learning and method of assessment weightage can be decided on the basis of two parameter the first prospective uh, sorry the the perceived impact or importance of the topic in term of uh, its impact on the health the frequency of occurrences of a particular desire or health problem however this formula require modification in basic science but it may involve some element of subjectivity consciousness uh, opinion of expert in the subject and other discipline before allocating the weightage once the weightage for each topic is decided assignment of weightage to assessment uh, method has to be considered it is well known uh, fact that no single method can be used to assess all domain hence uh, combination of various method have to be used to improve the validity of assessment
decide the total weightage and number of item to be include in the assessment once the method uh, to increase the reliability of the test is to increase the number of test item it is recommended that the realistic time estimate should be made for each test item and assumed up for the whole test after uh escri uh training that the test fully uh sample out the the required competency decide on the table of test specification the table of test specification can be two dimensional or a three dimensional on depending upon the various uh, sorry the variable used one can be prepared one for the whole examination or can be separate for return the practical examination respectively the specification table so as a template for the question paper setting last step is prepare individual questions based on the table of specification individual question can be prepared by the paper setter examiner the making scheme should be clear so as to bring complete transparency to the assessment now we will discuss benefits of blueprint give feedback on student progress and teacher delivering the curriculum from a student point how well they attend the objectives provide a guideline to both uh, student and teacher determine the ability and validity of the examination blooms taxonomy help in developing the entire return and some aspect of practical questions these are the references for uh, blueprint you should uh, go through for these references to uh, further more detail knowledge of blueprint now times for mcqs the term filling the blanks is derived from the domain of architecture which means 
डिटेल प्लान ऑफ एक्शन ऑप्शन ए ब्लू प्रिंट ऑप्शन बी लेसन प्लान ऑप्शन सी यूनिट प्लान ऑप्शन डी ईयर प्लान द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ब्लू प्रिंट द टर्म ब्लू प्रिंट इज ड्राइव फ्रॉम द डोमेन ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर विच मीन्स डिटेल प्लान ऑफ एक्शन next mcqs it provide students an attractive approach for education planning to meet the curriculum filling the blanks and learning objectives option a class expectation option b school ex expectation option c curriculum expectation and option d teacher expectation correct answer is option c curriculum expectation it provide the student an interactive approach for educational planning to meet the curriculum expectation and learning objective next mcqs blueprint is a filling the blanks chart which show the placement of each question in respect of the objective and the content area that is that uh, option a three dimensional option b two dimensional option c four dimensional and option d one dimensional correct answer is option a three dimensional blueprint is a three dimensional chart which show the placement of each question in respective of the objective and the content are that is test next mcqs learning objective is based on bloom's taxonomy option a knowledge option b understanding level option c application level option d all the above correct answer is all the above uh, learning object based on knowledge level understanding level and application level next mcqs benefit of blueprint are option a give feedback on students progress and teacher delivering the curriculum option b for students point out how well they attend the objective option c both a and b option d none correct answer is uh, option c give feedback on a student progress and teachers deliver the curriculum and for student point of how well they attend the objective it means both a and b are the correct answer benefit of the blueprint uh thank you student um